What about at running back? Is there is there a guy you definitely want to uh, splurge for here, Pierce, or or do you feeling like you're going to save at this position? I'll splurge, but it does seem like some of this uh, value has opened up. But I, I just don't see how you get away from Joe Mixon. Joe Mixon's in a great spot. Uh, Allen talked about this earlier. This is a Bengals team that runs the ball. Um, you could see, like, in the last two weeks, they just fed him big time. But even when Mixon gets 16 or more carries, the Bengals are 7-0. and I mean, I'm not the coach there, but I think they probably realize that, hey, when we run the ball with Mixon more, we, we win games. Their offensive line ranks in the top 10. They've got a dream matchup against a Chargers team that just can't stop the run. It's just not in their DNA. It's not a part of their system. They give up tons of yards per carry. They're the worst in DVOA. Uh, 1,300 plus rushing yards this season. Uh, second most touchdowns this season. It's just a dream spot for Nixon, and I have no problem paying this price. Okay, uh, Alan, what about you? Is there a price you don't mind paying? Speaking of uh, the necks from we were talking about Glenn and my neck was nodding yes with that Joe Mixon call. I love that. But uh, I'm shopping in the 6K and below range for my running backs this week. I like James Conner, 5,900 with no Chase Edmonds. Conner's been TD machine, 12 on the season, only second in the NFL to Jonathan Taylor. Even if Kyler Murray's back and it's looking like he will play, Arizona doesn't want to use him proactively at the goal line when they have their bulldozer, James Conner, do the dirty work. Uh, that's the player I am rostering in most of my lineups this week. What do you want to do at running back, Jeff? Yeah, I mean, I definitely don't mind paying up for Joe Mixon. That, I think that's a solid call. I think Najee Harris is actually going to be a sneaky pay-up option. And we'll be able to pay up for a lot of these guys because when we get to tight end, man, we get tons oh of my God. Keep tight end. But <laughs> Antonio Gibson at 5,700, I feel like people have just forgotten that he got 36 touches last week. J.D. McKissick has not practiced at all this week, likely going to miss the game. Antonio Gibson going up against the, the Vegas Raiders rush defense. Yes, sign me up. I know he hasn't been that efficient on the ground, but how does he not push for 25 plus touches here? Washington loves to run the ball. There's six in rush attempts per game. Vegas, 11th worst yards per carry rush against. I think Gibson to 5,700 should be the chalk of the week, but he's not really trending like that. Love paying uh, down, up, middle for him, whatever you want to call it. 